Hey, what's happening, everybody? M. Capo here. Um, Black Adonis Games. Sitting here working on my game, TLG, The Lesser God. Um, before I start this one off, I want to thank all the people that have been subscribing to the channel. You know what I'm saying? A little short time I've been here. I only got a few subscribers, but I want to thank y'all. Um, I'm going to start blasting my social media a little bit more because I want to start that real early. I want to get this buzz popping well before the game is done. And I'm still, you know what I'm saying, in definitely in pre-developmental phases. I'm still, you know, early in development. So I want to start cracking it off right now and getting, you know, giving it a big push right now. Um, also, um, I wanted to let y'all know that, you know, this has been a pretty big update. Um, I'm, I'm excited about it. You might hear me stammer and stumble a little bit on my words because um, I'm a little bit excited, y'all. Um, anyway, let's get into it. Um, I also did do some uh, animations. There we go. While uh, you have the weapon. Um, there are some random idle poses. I did those as well. I'm going to be working on all the poses. Some of these are just fillers. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to be my necessarily my choices in the game. I can replace them at any time. So right now I'm just filling up the positions in the game so that when I am ready to choose my true animations and things, I'll be ready to go. All right. Also, my main thing I added, I wanted to, there was a guy who made a comment about my backflip when I'm going forward. I want to thank him. Um, I never had the intention of that being that way. I just put the animation in because I was playing with the random node, but I do have a backwards animation now. So you do a backflip. If you're going backwards only, you will never see it when you're going forward. And if you do press it while you're going forward, you'll start going back. So, um, I got that also my main thing I've been working on is eight-way dash so let me show you all that there you go combination dash dash jump oh, wow jump right through that <laughs> um but yeah I, I made me an eight-way dash it took me a lot of work um, I used select nodes to do it and I got a four-way that I started with um, At first, I just started with a four-way, and then it took me a while to figure out what to do. And I'll do a video probably on a four-way and explain the rest, um, so that y'all can definitely uh, those that are interested can, you know, what I'm saying get the dash. I might use the timeline for uh, to set the dash up, um, so it basically I can extend the timeline if I wish, but. When you level up, what I'm going to do is basically extend the distance. This is, is probably going to be the extent of the distance. It'll start off as a really short, a lot shorter jump, which I've already tried it and it works. So it'll be just enough to just dodge right around the character in the beginning. And then, you know, you'll, you'll move up to a more higher end dash as you go along. This one is pretty good, but I think I'm going to make it actually be a little bit longer than this one as well. So... This is probably about two thirds of what it's going to be when it's when it's completed. Um, I'm still working on a lot of the effects. Um, I'm still having a sun problem um, where when my light comes up, um, it's giving me some issues at sunrise and sunset. As you can see here, I have put a light on the character too, so um, we have that now. Um, the cool thing about the dash is it literally is like teleport, so it literally will dash through walls and things like that. I love that. Um, see where I dashed that I went through the first part of the wall but hit the second part so it literally can dash um, I'm thinking of working it into the game in many ways um, I will be creative with it y'all so y'all you know y'all see something, something fly when I'm done y'all see something that's really nice and something I'm trying to make something that's exceptional here's that time of day that I was telling y'all about so things are gonna look a little bit crappy just for a second um, and then the frames will pick right back all the way up. Um, when they go down, they're at about 30. But I added a lot of sound effects to the characters. Got stuck on that rock. I gotta get out of there. Woo! Woo! Yeah, I'm loving this, man. Way different experience, man. 
Oh. Okay, and then there's my death animation. Um, and then I added a respawn animation as well. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, I want to definitely work on that transition right there where it just snatches the character. So, I'll definitely be working on that. Um, the dash can also be used in the air, which makes you very evasive. I love it. See what I'm saying? Any direction, all eight directions are able to be accessed while you're in the air. So, I'm really feeling that. Because um, I'm really going to have a lot of guys, as you can see, even here in the demo, uh, me just practice playing around. Um, there, it's gonna, there's going to be a point where a lot of guys are going to be showing up at you at once. And you're going to have to uh, be able to take care of that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. I'm keep y'all posted man and keep stuff coming um, i got a lot more work that i'm putting in um, i would even made it through the uh, crappy time of day pretty good so far i must not have got all the way into it oh i actually almost dove into that but just to give y'all an example um I'm gonna have it to where there's certain places you can dash into, like that, if the walls are a certain thickness maybe or something, or maybe I'll make certain walls made out of something different and you won't be able to dash through them, but that's something that uh, I'll just be working on uh, and seeing where I go with it. Um, I did something really funny, I dashed into a humongous rock and I was able to go into my inventory because when you're in inventory on my game, it does not pause. They, characters can keep coming at you because it's live you know so i thought it was pretty cool to be able to dash into a rock i can't do it on that one because i set up the collision but i was able to dash into another rock a bigger one not that not bigger than that one but i'm just saying a ground rock i should say and i was able to dash into it and then get into my inventory and dash out so it was pretty cool um I might do something with it, maybe make a limitation over how long you could be in there before something goes wrong. I don't know. I'm just being creative, y'all. Um, all the effects I've just been working on a lot, man. I'm trying to get them to look the way I want them to look. The, the coloring, the brightness, the just everything. So y'all gonna see a lot of stuff changing as I'm working on this. Um, I've brought my weather system in, I've brought just everything in, and the only problem I'm having, and I had it on an old map, is that thing with the sun rising and setting at certain times. Um, the cool thing I love is I have my soundtrack or modulator so that I can use, so far I only really have I think like four songs maybe, four or five songs. But it seems like I have a lot more because I have different versions of the songs. But that's just using modulators to do that. And I will definitely uh, do videos on uh, using modulators and stuff like that. Um, I've been trying to get in UE5 more. But um, I'm just not really interested right now. Because the fact that I can't just port straight over to it. You know what I'm saying? At this In this day and age, in this day and age of programming, that I can't just take my project and say, hey, I want to use uh, it in this, you know, version. That's a, that throws me off, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Crown, I love, I, I'm never going to disrespect Epic Games on, on the fact that this is my engine. I've been wanting to work in it since I can remember when it was old school and I never had a computer that was strong enough to run it, but... They need to get it together on that aspect of things. Like, don't make something new and then take us away from what we already was working on. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't limit me. You should be expanding me, not limiting me. You know what I'm saying? This is one... Come on, y'all. This is like a year and a half of work here. And this is self-taught. You know what I'm saying? So, don't never let nobody tell you that you can't do things that you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here it goes. Just the time of day. It still looks a lot better than it was, but um, I know in my heart, I know the frames is low when it when it happens and it bothers me. So um, I've had a lot of sound effects, y'all. So um, I appreciate y'all coming by, man. I mean, this video is way longer than I intended to be. I'm probably chop a lot of this out. 
if y'all got something to uh, want me to show y'all that I've done, um, you can put a suggestion. Like I said, I'm not going to show everything because then it won't make my project original. If you happen to figure it out, cool, that's love. But I can't give away every secret I know because this is stuff, a lot of this stuff, I'm just learning on my own. I'm an indie, man. I need this. I need this game to do well. You know what I'm saying? I'm, put, put, I'm putting my heart into it in a lot of time, so I appreciate y'all. Macadamic Dance, Amp Capo, Solo Dev.